So we're here in the basement, and it's not a super sexy space, right? Uh, basements, uh, but I'll tell you what, it looks a lot better than when you saw it last. When I first come here, it's all wet, and it's not smooth, it's not leveled. I think there's some kind of few steps yes. up and up and down That's from right. here to That's there right. and to this, to this place. I'm just surprised that they already been leveled and have all these solid gravel and after that i think i guess we're gonna put like the vapor barrier and yes. then re pull the slab and it will be like continuous consistency smooth <clears throat> smooth slab that's right i guess sam just mentioned all these like stone walls they are pretty sick they yeah. are like 20 to 24 inches that's right and uh, back to that time probably 1920s well the get when the Gilded Ages, there's no concrete footing there, or the concrete has just been invented. So it's there's a high chance that this stone wall was built intentionally without concrete footing. They just put more like a thicker and a bigger boulder underneath to yes. support this stuff, like the what we saw in these old buildings, like even the Capitol Hill. Yes. So this is quite solid, although a little bit overkill per the <laughs> per the structure. You yeah. know, criteria nowadays. So, and uh, uh, you're saying this will outlive us. Yep, <laughs> this is going to be here a lot longer <laughs> a long than, life. than we will yeah. be here, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, we're starting with our groundwork, right? So mm -hmm. the groundwork's nicely prepared. We've got our drain lines. This is just about ready for that concrete overpour, <laughs> yep. right? Yep. And then um, the we've got the <clears throat> perimeter drain oh, system, wow. right? Because as you said, we had water, yep. so now we've got this perimeter drain system wow. all around, wow. right? So that, so that essentially, what happens, as you know, when the water hits the foundation, as it can, DC is a wet area, yeah. right? You know this, right? Yeah. A DC homes, <clears throat> so this is going to push any water that happens to hit the foundation into the into gravel, the yep. right, which will be below the concrete, and then it will go to the sump pumps. Yeah, exactly. So glad that you install all these fancy stuff, you know, fancy system that can drain the water into the sump pump and get the entire humidity out of this room. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, structure. The first, your job is structure, right? And the first thing that you have to do, like the biggest and one of the biggest enemies of structure is water. Exactly. Right? And exactly. so we're we're protecting the structure that you're so carefully considering yep. by and we're gonna do outside work. We got new roof work going, we got gutters, we're gonna uh, do some landscaping and grading to push water away, but still any water yep. that will hit is now gonna hit this perimeter drain yep. and get pushed out of the house. Yes. When I first stepped into this area, I saw these kind of like concrete shelf. Yes. You see they're they're deep they're they're so thick, yeah. right? They're yeah. about like 20 inches all the way a perimeter around. So this is kind of like a very interesting stuff because this is what we call like old fashioned underpinning when this house was probably like a, either a crossbase or it's like a, actually you can see that door, you see? Yes. It, it was cut here, so it's probably originally that high, it's about mm -hmm. like maybe less than six feet. Yes. And when the, <clears throat> when the homeowner want to like get more depths about the uh, this area, they do what we call like underpinning. underpinning. But nowadays the underpinning is just excavating directly underneath the stone wall pour some concrete and then just refill it with the uh, soils and slab. Yes. But back to that time, they do this like called old fashioned underpinning, which they create like a concrete shelf. Yes. They're not touching anything of the stone wall. They just leave it there and uh, pouring a very thick concrete wall and down yes. to the, to the uh, proposed level and yes. then just redo the footings as the concrete or sometimes as the mensary. But now we nowadays we do not do this because this eat too much space. Yes. So yes. that's why we call it old-fashioned underpinning. When I first saw this one, I yeah, thought, oh, all the way around, it's probably right? like just like a cross space before. Yeah. So yeah. 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 This is the yeah. It goes all the way around and uh, and and so no, nothing wrong with it. It's just, nothing wrong you with said, it. It's, it's just old-fashioned. It's how you did it in the day. Yep. And, and of course, basements. As you know, basements in the day were not places people used a lot. Exactly. 
Exactly. Right? So, but today, basements are extra space. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, Veronica, what I'm thinking is two preservation, restoration, almost homage to the structure of the home. So, I'm thinking that we keep this post. It's a support post. It's not the prettiest as it looks in its state right now, but there's something vintagey about it. I just don't, it's rustic. And I think it'd be cool if we maybe give it a lacquer, right? I mean, obviously everything else is gonna be drywall and painted, but if we give it a lacquer and, and just show it off a little bit. I like that idea. Yeah. I think it'd be great. Do you think we should keep the, the old door hinges too? or get rid of those, what do you think? I don't know. The other thing that I'm thinking is that we preserve some of the stone face. So we can't preserve all of the stone face in a few for a few reasons. One is this door height's too low. So we're gonna have to, this is gonna have to get gone and we're gonna have to raise this. So we're gonna talk to uh, our friend Daniel mm -hmm. about what we need to do here in order to support this. But in the meantime, uh, there are two sections of stone that I think we can show off. One is this section in the doorway, right? right? So in other words, we'll drywall it kind of to here and then just leave it exposed. Mm -hmm. And then the other section is this wall here because it's not this we need to insulate because this is exterior wall, but this is interior wall. And I think we can show it off. So cool, you like that idea? I love it. Awesome, so we'll keep that. I think this, what this does, it's just another way that we're trying to preserve and restore and just allow some of the history of the home and the incredible structure, right? The incredible thought that was put in by the original owner and architect.